Monday, September 21st. Commitments Call Imagine that you are Peter and John. The sun has just risen on a beautiful Galilean morning, chasing away the chill of the night air. Your thoughts are on one thing, catching fish, a lot of them. The fishing has been good recently, and you are looking forward to another day of great fishing. Then in the early morning light you see him approaching, Jesus of Nazareth. Little do you know that in a few moments your whole life will change. You will never be the same again. Read Matthew 4 18-20. Why do you think Peter and John were willing to make such a radical commitment to follow Christ? What in the text indicates that Jesus was calling them to a higher purpose than catching fish? Matthew 4 18-20. 18 And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. 19 Then he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. 20 They immediately left their nets and followed him. From the Gospel of John we learned that these men already knew something about Jesus for more than a year, yet had not made a full commitment to him. Still, there must have been a divine demeanor about Christ, something about his appearance, words, and actions that indicated to these Galilean fishermen that he was inviting them to a divine calling. The reason they left their boats, occupation, and familiar surroundings to follow him was that they sensed the call to a higher purpose. These ordinary fishermen recognized that they were called for an extraordinary purpose. In the same way, God may not be calling you to leave your profession today, but he is calling you to an extraordinary purpose, to share his love and to witness of his truth for the glory of his name. Consider the call of Matthew, the tax collector, in Matthew 9-9. What do you see in this passage that is quite remarkable? Tax collectors in the Roman world were often extortionists who used their official power to oppress the common people. They were some of the most hated and despised characters in all of Israel. Christ's invitation, follow me, presupposes that Matthew had heard of Jesus and in his heart had a longing to follow him. When the invitation came, he was ready. He was amazed that Christ would accept him and invite him to be one of his disciples. Deep within all of our hearts there is a longing for something more in life. We, too, want to live for something worthwhile, for a grander, nobler purpose. Hence, Christ calls us, like Matthew, to follow him. Think about what people have had to give up to follow Jesus. Why, in the end, will it always be worth it? By Adult Sabbath School Guide